Hi guys, welcome to your weekly energy reading. This is going to be your weekly reading for the week of October 21st through the 27th. I will be working with the Oracle of Oddities, first, second, and third edition, as well as the Halloween Tarot. Um, I haven't pulled the cards yet, so I'm just gonna do a quick, <laughs> a quick little shuffle, and then we're just gonna dive right in earth air fire and water earth you guys got three tarot cards so i think that means you guys have something major happening this week big stuff okay actually that wanted to be for water i mean not sorry fire so water there you go okay so earth signs you guys had three jumpers you guys have the seven of ghosts or the Seven of Cups, the Five of Pumpkins, or the Five of Pentacles, and Magician. So my Earth Signs, this is a week of you got to create, you got to manifest this week. We also have the Joy card for you guys. Um, I feel like the Joy card with the hands is kind of saying that you have the ability to create your happiness this week. Just like any week, we have that ability. But with that Magician card, Earth Signs, it is up to you to create the week um, that you really want to create the energy that you want to have to create the people that you want to have around you um, The five of pumpkins and the seven of ghosts is kind of saying this has been a long time coming some of you have been coming from Some shifts. Okay, some money issues perhaps some financial setbacks It's been a rough time, but now you're gonna start to feel the flow a lot of you guys are gonna be getting that paycheck soon um, and that seven of ghosts is saying you have a lot of opportunities and a lot of options to choose from this week. So is it payday week or are you on the brink of it? Also allow yourself to have the whole like have a whole lookout of everything that you you can choose from this week with the seven of um, with the seven of ghosts um, and don't don't pick quickly like really see everything put it all out on the table and manifest your desires and manifest those really good days you guys you have that potential within you air signs you guys have the two of ghosts or the two of cups and you also have the crown chakra i love it so my air signs there's a lot of communication this week with loved ones with people that are really close to you friends family but this could also be spirit communication with the ghost card um and then also the fact that it's with the crown chakra this could be your higher connection to your higher self your connection to your spirit guides Maybe you guys are noticing angel numbers or you guys are noticing like spirit is really trying to get your attention this week. We're creeping into the final week of October. Like this is literally the final main week of October and then like the last couple days are going to be trickling in. This is when spirit has the most powerful connection on us. So I feel like my air signs, a lot of you guys doing what you do best, communicate, express that. If you guys are receiving messages from spirit and if you're comfortable with enough with it, deliver those messages in a nice, kind matter. Um, and then also have those one-on-one -on -one communication. Like communication is a key for you guys, making those heartfelt connections this week. Um, fire signs, you guys got the temperance, really powerful card. You also have knowledge. And you also have anger. So um, I feel like with my fire signs, it's quick. You, we all, you guys have like a bad rep. You guys have a bad rep for being hot-headed, impatient kind of people. And I feel like with that anger card, it's kind of just saying like you don't, you want to kind of break that. You want to break that reputation that you guys have had um, as being like short-fused, that kind of thing. Um, I feel like this week that anger with the temperance card is a lot of you guys are going to be working on kind of redistributing your, your anger energy. It's not necessarily that you're just angry people. It's just maybe that you have to work on the way that you express yourself or the way that you um, release pent up energy which can easily be registered as anger the knowledge card is kind of just saying utilizing your past experiences you have knowledge within you to create a better like a better pathway you know if something's not working for you guys this week you have the knowledge within you to change that i really feel um and temperance is also a card of balance and i really like that she's kind of concocting this this magic potion there so i feel like my fire signs this is a week for you guys to really take 
take care of yourself, um, to rebalance yourself, maybe realigning your chakras, um, getting some energy work done on yourselves, that kind of thing. This might be some of my fire signs, might be taking care of yourselves, staying home sick that kind of thing it's just like an energy that i'm feeling from a lot of you um and i feel like it's just kind of rewriting your reputation um and and like i said a lot of you fire signs have a bad reputation for being angry people or just like short fused and i want to see you guys kind of rewrite that about yourselves because it's not cool to be labeled that way you know um so i feel like this week you're really gonna gonna be paying attention to what other people are thinking and about you saying things about you and it's gonna be up to you guys to kind of take it in and release your energy in a different way not just in an angry set of a tone now lastly my water signs we have the nine of pumpkins and we also have union i love it so nine of pumpkins with union to me this is kind of like a union or a reunion uniting with people that were really close to you feeling really good about yourselves i feel like i have like the image of like some of you water signs are going to be attending a party or like attending some kind of dinner and you're going to be getting in a union with other people and you're really going to be able to kind of look at yourself in a more lavish light <laughs> like people are really going to notice all of these amazing things that you've been doing and developing in your own personal lives and you're going to get that recognition for it um nine of pumpkins energy or nine of pentacle energy is really like living the fruits of your labor like really enjoying the fruits of your labor you guys have put so much work into stuff that you do your projects your your job um you know whatever you have going on in in the background and i feel like it's kind of like this is the week that you really kind of come together this could be networking maybe you're going to be working one-on-one -on -one with someone else this union can also be romance this could literally be some um <laughs> coming together together going on a first date this could be reuniting in your marriage this could be you know just really creating some sort of one-on-one -on -one connection with another person it doesn't have to be love related but if it does be if it is love related then there you go but it doesn't have to be um and then i just feel like maybe some of my water signs you guys are going to be noticed like i just feel like <laughs> Some, pe some people are really going to be noticing you. You're just going to feel so beautiful and vibrant this week. People are going to notice you and some of you are going to be getting some numbers or being asked out and that kind of thing. So there's some romantic connections coming, <laughs> coming your way, my water signs. Um, I feel like overall the signs that are really going to be struggling, not struggling this week, but just like really needing to, to dig in a little bit deeper are my fire signs and definitely air sign, or, um, earth signs, earth and fire, um, earth signs for you guys. It's more like having more confidence in yourselves, um, trusting that you guys have the ability to do the things that you really, really want to do. Um, and, and to me, this just looks like, to me, this just screams like you have everything in your hands. Like you have the ability to mold yourself your life your situation your marriage your your finances whatever it is whatever this represents to you this week you guys really really have to step outside of maybe some of your comfort zones or your limitations your boundaries and really trust your ability to do it um and then, like I said, my fire signs, I just feel like you guys have such a bad reputation and I feel like this is the week that you really want to break that. You want to kind of reveal a little bit more of a, maybe a more of a humbled side to yourselves, um, tapping more into maybe some other elements within your chart. So if you're like a fire sign, but you also have like a lot of water in your chart, or I would even say, I would challenge my fire signs to tap into the element of their chart that you don't have a lot of. So when you look at your birth chart, where do you, where do most of your planets live? lie in like what is the element in your chart that is heaviest and then what is the one that doesn't have much of anything like for me personally i lack a lot of earth in my chart so um it's really important for me to maintain gr to be grounded and to just like be focused and, and whatnot so that's like a part of my own personal struggle so i challenge my fire signs to look at your birth chart and see what element that you don't have a lot of and maybe that'll give you kind of an idea of how you can reuse your energy and not be angry not come off that way um and have more of a patience within yourself okay you guys i hope this reading helped i hope it gave you something to look forward to this week if you have questions comments concerns please leave them below have a beautiful week and i will talk to you guys later bye loves